days. Today, we're going to be building Lego set 75324 Dark Trooper Attack. It's 166 pieces. So it's a bit on the smaller side, but I also bought Boba Fett's throne room, which is 732 pieces. And I'll be posting this video in a few weeks. also the Boba or the Mandalorian's new starfighter the N1 starfighter conversion that's going to be coming out on I think it's June 1st so I'll definitely be getting that when it comes out Skywalker and the Dark Troopers and this is his hallway scene so this is of course at the season finality season finale of Mandalorian season 2 to see Luke in his prime come out and, you know, absolutely crush these dark troopers. So that was pretty dang cool. And so we have sort of the Imperial light cruiser hallway. Three dark troopers and of course Luke Skywalker himself. like sometimes watch the intro like three or four times before just letting the video play through I don't know what it is but like the sound of a Lego box is just like so nice to me and I also like it makes very different noise. 
places. When you have it like down versus up. Hopefully you can tell the difference. But anyways. Sorry for the long intro. This has the thumb tabs. I always I wonder actually. expression 
aesthetic of the movie. And I just thought it was like a total blast from start to finish. It's like, it's a three hour movie and I was hoping that it wouldn't end all throughout. So if you haven't seen it or you're on the fence, definitely recommend it. Um, but just a warning, it is pretty dark. So if you're not really into dark movies, both like tonally dark and plot dark, as well as like physically dark, like the movie itself is like literally does not have a lot of light. <laughs> um, if you don't like that, then you might want to avoid it. But otherwise, if you like that, or if you're open to it, I thought it was fantastic. So, um, I know it's not about Star Wars, but I thought it was at least worth mentioning. And then, of course, upcoming Star Wars releases. I think the only thing that's really on the calendar is um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, which, of course, is extremely exciting. Who isn't pumped for that? Um, where is this third? Super, super excited to see uh, Aiden and Ewan back on screen together. And it's like, it almost feels like, like it still kind of feels distant. I mean, it's like early March when I'm recording this, and I think it comes out in late May. Um, and that's like two and a half months away. And I'm like, wow. Honestly, it kind of feels like time flies. Oops. So, hopefully, it's great. I mean, I love Aiden and Ewan, so how could it not be great? still um, very interested to see I think I actually talked about this like a long time ago like back in like su last summer in a Lego video about how I was a little confused about how they were going to have you know Aiden as Darth Vader and Obi-Wan on screen together because, um, you know, they have the duel on Mustafar and the, um, sort of next time they meet is A New Hope on the Death Star and Obi-Wan and Darth Vader say something to that effect that like shows that they haven't met since Mustafar so I'm kind of curious what they're gonna do I, I don't think that they'd be bold enough to or uh, I hope they wouldn't be bold enough to retcon the original trilogy or any of the, the movies for that matter I don't think they would. But maybe they'll like throw in some line about how you can interpret that line differently or something so it's not a red con or maybe um, it'll be like something to do with Oh, I think I put the wrong one. I totally put the wrong one. Oh, it's gonna to remove. Oh, actually wasn't that bad. Um, anyways, I think maybe they'll do like visions. Like I know in the comic books, um, Darth Vader 
his former self, I believe. Uh, it's been a while. Like fighting his former self in Obi-Wan. So maybe they'll do like that type of deal. Where obviously we see them fight on screen, but it's all sort of a meditation.
think everything else has been pretty much radio silent and rumors, so no news on Ahsoka or Mando Season 3 or anything like that, to my knowledge. Um, I will say that Book of Boba Fett finale was a bit strange. Um, it's actually kind of relevant to this set in, in a way. Um, so I think it's been like almost a month now since it came out, but oh, by the way, if you didn't see it, we slid the piece in. And now we're like kind of locking it in place. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's been almost a month, so I, I'd be willing to bet almost everyone that wants to see it at this point and also would be on the Star Wars channel. Jar. 
hard as to give him up, and he takes off his helmet and says his goodbyes. And you know, we see Luke and R2, and they go away together. I didn't think that was gonna be the last time that we saw. necessarily a bad thing. Um, anyways, I'll stop talking about the spoilers now. So, welcome back, non-spoiler people. You can see us trying our hardest to put stickers on. <laughs> you didn't miss too much. We built two dark troopers and now we're working on the elevator.
just like looking for peaks in the audio, but I feel like sometimes noises that are really loud, like bassy noises or really high pitched noises, might not necessarily show up as like a big spike on the audio, but they'll still be like really abrasive, annoying noises that I would want to cut, so I feel like I don't really trust that method. Anyways, I'll stop talking about behind the scenes ASMR editing, but there's the elevator, and that's a super satisfying um, twirly mechanism. It's like very smooth. You can actually probably I think you can hear that. It's like just perfectly fit. So like it's easy to spin, but it doesn't like spin on its own. So that's super satisfying. like jar dark jar dark cards in one 
like I, I think I bought both of those at Target so it's not like I had a, a Lego order that I could just pull up and be like oh yeah my order number P250 or whatever is defective like it was just a I have these two sets and these two pieces are wrong but they're like cool here you go they didn't ask for a receipt or anything so I feel like you could totally just like ask them for a piece and they'd probably send it to you but I wouldn't recommend doing that because they probably catch on pretty quick so I'm sure it's like a honor system type deal but if they notice like this person requests like 10 times the amount of pieces that everyone else does then they might shut you down so I'm definitely not suggesting that you try to get free pieces from Lego just saying I was surprised how trusting we were I just realized they didn't even ask me to do this. I hope that's correct. It'd be really, <laughs> really lame if I had to pull that sticker off. I'm almost certain it is correct now. the elevator door closed. Good luck getting up out. And it's very smooth and satisfying. Okay, looks like we're almost done here. So the video will probably be just about at the hour mark. Which I think is good. such a small
six foot test. When I was in college, I had a machining course. Um, machining, I mean like cutting things out of metal with machine tools like lathes and vertical mills and all that, essentially taking a block of metal or a cylinder and making something. And, uh, you know, they had us make a cannon, so you made, like, the base, the wheels, and then, like, the, the shape of the cannon itself out of aluminum. Just like a big block of aluminum. And, um, the, the shop instructor was, like, ask me if, you know, I try hard to make the cannon and it doesn't look right, am I going to fail the course? And he says, if you put the cannon on the ground six feet away from me, and if I can glance over and realize it's a cannon, then you'll probably pass. <laughs> so, that's a roundabout way of saying, I think that's my approach to stickers on Lego as well. If you can sort of put it six feet away on the shelf, glance over, then I'm okay with it. If you don't like, I mean, to look at it and see, wow, that is totally crooked. That's at least my take. Um, I will say that is wildly different with hot toys for me. Like with hot toys, I will sit on the couch and stare at my display case and like get up off the couch just to like adjust someone's arm very slightly or like change the angle of their lightsaber or like move the fabric like minutely to like hide a joint a bit better. So I guess with, with stickers I'm like pretty lax but for whatever reason, hot toys in my display case, I am like ridiculously meticulous about it. <laughs> um, if you don't know what hot toys are, because I realize some of you might not, and that's okay, it's just uh, 12 inch like one six scale, um, sort of premium action figures. And they're generally extremely high detail with, you know, super realistic outfits, faces, hair, everything. Um, and they also, unfortunately, have the price tag that goes along with that. So, they're basically like, really premium quality action figures that look like they jumped right off the screen. So, definitely check it out. If you haven't heard of them, um, their U.S. distributor, if you're in the U.S., is Sideshow. So, if you just Google Sideshow Hot Toys, if you're in the U.S., then it'll come up. Oh, it looks like this is the last step, guys. So, our journey is drawing to an end.
slides back and forth. Let's put our last guy on here. Or maybe we'll put a destroyed dark trooper. He's been cut in half. Right there.
in a few weeks. So, stay tuned to that, or stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description to the previous LEGO video if you want to check that out. Oops, here's one last look at the Dark Trooper attack set. Aesthetically, I think it looks great. I really like the hallway and the sort of imperial aesthetic. I think it looks awesome. The elevator, while the mechanism is smooth, using Luke in it is a bit finicky, but not a huge deal. Still, definitely a fun set. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Bye.